Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you how you can enable JIT or just-in-time compilation for apps which require it on iOS 17 using Windows and a jailbreak is not required. The method is easy and best of all, it is completely free. So as you can see, I am on this iPad which is running iOS 17.5. All right and I want to show it on device also. So as you can see, it is iOS 17.5 and this method should also work on any higher version like iOS 17 plus. First of all guys, as you can see, I am at the official GitHub page for side JIT server, which we will be using. And you can see it works on Windows and Mac OS as well and you can use it to enable JIT for your apps using USB and Wi-Fi if your computer and your device is on the same Wi-Fi and you have the written instructions right here also but for this to work first of all we will have to install Python so you can simply get to the official website for Python and get it from here it is completely free so I would get it for Windows from here and then you can simply get the latest version all right so as you can see I have got Python I will simply install it also this is very important please make sure that you check this add python.exe to path all right and I would also check this one to make sure that everything works so now hit install now and simply wait for the process to finish all right so as you can see it is successful now you can close out of it next thing guys to increase the compatibility i would recommend installing itunes also so please install itunes from the official apple's website you can simply scroll down please don't get it from the microsoft store so you can get it from the official website it is easy scroll down and you will find this windows link please download and install itunes now guys before i show you how to install side jit server i want to emphasize that yes you can use your normal apple id to install your favorite apps using side loadly side loadly is also completely free you can simply get to it websites and then you can simply get it from here and Along with that, to make Sideloadly work, please install iTunes and iCloud from here. These are the official links. Now, you can simply open Sideloadly and connect your iOS device via USB and then install your program or your software. So, simply hit this button, type in your normal Apple ID, then hit start, put in your password and install it from here also on ios 17 or higher please make sure that developer mode is set to on if you don't see it please install the app and it will appear also of course go to general go to device management and trust this app before you can open it so as you can see for this video i have an app installed which requires a jet now guys let's install side jet server first so go to start and search for PowerShell. Then simply right click and make sure you run it as administrator. All right, there you go. Now type pip3 or it should work with pip only also. Install and then side jet server. Then press enter. Make sure your computer is connected to the internet and it will install everything required and it will also of course install the side JIT server for you. Also if you already have side JIT server installed to upgrade it you can use this command pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade side JIT server. Also of course if it does not work for you you can use pip3 install and the command all right also to fix common errors if you see any error like internal server error for me this command fix it pip install upgrade py mobile device 3 
I ran this command and it fixed most of the errors. One more thing, also add the official GitHub page for SideJet server. Make sure you run this command, python hyphen m v e n v and v e n v to create a virtual environment. For me, it worked without it, but if it does not work for you, please run this command. If the command fails, you can use python without python 3 and it sh should work for you all right guys once it is installed now type side jet server dot exe or you can do it without dot exe extension it worked for me that way also now hyphen hyphen pair and at this point make sure that your ios device is connected via usb and then press enter all right and then hit trust on your device and then here type y press enter and the side jit server should start please wait for it to complete this can take a few seconds all right so as you can see it started now on your device we will install a shortcut so i will go to safari and i will open the same github page for side jet server then scroll down and you'll find that you will have to install this shortcut so hit it and wait for it to load then hit setup shortcut now it will ask you for your device's UDID. Getting your UDID is easy. You can look for the UDID here on the PowerShell. It is there. All right. This is the one method or the first method. The second method is to go to Safari and go to this address. All right. It will show up here running on. All right now simply open this address on safari on your device all right and here you'll find your udid next to usb mux all right now simply copy it from here all right as you can see simply copy all right and then again go to the shortcut and then simply paste the udid here all right next Next, you'll have to put your server address. You can get the address from here. Please make sure that you type in http colon slash slash the address. And please make sure that you do not put a slash at the end. All right. All right. As you can see, I have put the address here. Then hit add shortcut. All right. The shortcut is now added. Now, simply hit it this icon and then go to all shortcuts all right as you can see the shortcut has been successfully added and to remove your doubts about pairing i have simply restarted the side jet server using side jet server command this time without the hyphen hyphen pair so that i can show you that the pairing is only required for the very first time and the server will work now simply open the shortcut after of course configuring it then hit allow all right so now it will ask you to which app you want to launch so i have this installed i will simply hit it and it should open and you can simply hit allow to allow notifications for jit now if it was successful it will display up here side jit enable jit for your app whichever app is that also as you can see any app you run using side jet server will also be reflected in the powershell as you can see it right here now guys you can simply hit ctrl c to quit the side jet server and whenever you want to open an app with jet you will have to each time run the side jet server with the command i shown you for example this command and then open it via the shortcut that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section 
and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care.